John Higgins Mortgage One. Happy Monday. So last week, uh, coming off that really tough jobs number a week ago, Friday, uh, that showed over you know 270,000 new jobs created, we got some pretty good inflation news midweek. Uh, so the Fed is still talking about interest rates, you know, higher for longer, and you know, off some of those comments by. Uh, some of the Federal Reserve governors, uh, the mortgage market and the interest rate environment is really having a hard time building on those nice inflation numbers. So as we kind of look forward, this market has really become data dependent. And what I mean by that is, you know, until we see the job market kind of break a bit and the inflation numbers continuing to trend lower, uh, we're going to be in this choppy session. So we've seen interest rates uh, get better in the middle of uh, May and then they retreated uh, and got worse. Uh, and then again, tried again at the beginning of June, uh, saw interest rates kind of improve, dashed on the jobs number that came out. And then the inflation numbers that came out last week, we get a little bit better and the Fed continues to chirp that they're not in the mood to cut interest rates anytime soon. The market, I think, still thinks that there will be uh, rate cuts coming in September and maybe again before the end of the year. Well, the way the Fed is kind of talking the market off that uh, cliff has not been good for mortgage interest rates. We're not in bad shape by any stretch of the, uh, the imagination, but you know we're still hanging around that 7% number and we just can't seem to break below it. Uh, this week, not a whole lot of information out. Uh, we've got some uh, PMI numbers as far as growth around the uh, country and the uh, globe. We'll see how those numbers come in, but this Fed is so data dependent until we see these numbers uh, with regard to inflation break lower and sustain that uh, uh, lower number and then have the jobs market cool off just a little bit. We don't have to go negative with regard to job creation. Just need to see those uh, numbers month over month not be closer to 300,000 and maybe closer to 100 grand. So have a great week and we'll catch you next Monday.